All right, so welcome to this tutorial. This tutorial will show you how you can sign up for Dynamics 365 trial. Now it may be a little frustrating because Microsoft keeps changing the sign up process and um, it is very difficult for anyone to follow the step by step process given in the previous videos. If you signed up for this course, say last week or two weeks back, the process that you see in the video is changed by Microsoft. So now a new process is introduced. So I'm recording this video so that you follow the step by step process and it's easy for you to sign up and start working with your Dynamics 365 trial. So let me just show you how you can do that. So first you need to go to trials.dynamics.com and after that you can select either one of these four sales, customer service, field service or project service automation. So let's select sales and then here you need to select are you signing up on behalf of a customer or using a trial for development purposes? So we just click sign up here and then we can just click no continue signing up. And the first thing you will see is this screen. Now this screen is completely changed. Now it is different. So here you need to enter your email. Now your email can be your work email or it can be any email like Yahoo, Gmail, Hotmail, right? So I'll just enter my email, just click next. And then it will ask me to set up the account. So let's click set up account. And here I need to enter my details. So I'll just put quickly and make sure you select the country or region as United States because most of the updates come first to United States or this region. And uh, you might see something different in other regions. So I would highly recommend you to go with the United States. Now, if you are using it for production, I would suggest you to select the country that you belong to. Okay, so this is just for trial purpose, not for the production purpose. Okay, we just click next and then it will ask you to verify your phone number. Okay, so I will just do that. So you can choose your country code and the phone number that you have access to. Just click send verification code. And once you get it, you need to enter it here and then you click verify. In case if you don't get the code, you can just click try again. Or if you want to change your phone number, you can do that by clicking here. So let's click verify. Now it's time to set up the details about business. So what is the subdomain that you will use for this environment? So make sure it is available. Okay, so I'll just put for example, okay. And then you click check availability and make sure this is available. If not, then you make changes to your URL and then you click next. Okay, so I just click next here. And then here you need to enter your user ID. So this will be the user that you will use to log in to Dynamics 365 or portal.office.com. Enter your password. You can leave this unchecked if you don't want to share the information and uh, make the partners uh, get in touch with you. And you can just click sign up. So when you click sign up, it is going to create an account for you. Okay, so now it's all set. And make sure you copy user ID because this user ID you will be using to log into Dynamics 365, okay? So you will get this in an email as well that you use to sign up, but it's always good to keep this in a notepad or something. And then click let's go. Once you do that, it will direct you to Power Platform Admin Center. Now, previously it was not the case, but now Microsoft asked you to log into Power Platform and there you can create your trial environment. So now you enter the sign in URL, which is the new URL I asked you to copy in the previous step right it will be your name at the rate your environment dot on microsoft.com click next and then you enter the password and click sign in you can click stay sign in if you want and click yes now sometimes it may ask you to sign in again because the cookies that are used so on the right hand side top side you will see if you're using google chrome the cookies are blocked okay so in case if you want to remove this you can just click site not working and allow cookies and then it will work if you're using some other browser maybe you may, you may not face this challenge okay so now you are in power platform admin center next step is to sign up for the trial okay so here you need to enter your environment name d365 new environment and make sure you select trial as the subscription based and choose the region as united states and it will create database we just click next and here you can rename your organization URL and it should be available as well. Okay. And then you can choose the currency. So it's USD uh, based on your currency. You can choose that. Then you enable Dynamics 3 have app. It will be enabled. And here you can choose all enterprise apps. Okay. Then you click save and the environment is created now and you can see the state is preparing instance. So let's give it a few minutes. It may take a couple of minutes or more and uh, then it will show ready as the state. 
So let's give it some time. All right, so after you refresh it, you will see that environment is successfully created and you can use open environment to use it. So let's click this and then you can click open environment and then you will see this page, which is uh, you can access this from home.dynamics.com as well. So you will be redirected to this page and here you will see all the apps that are published. Make sure you select the apps that has unified interface. Okay, don't select the web one select the unified interface one. So if you want to work with Dynamics 365 sales, click sales hub. For customer service, click customer service hub. For field service, click here. And for project service automation, you click project service. These are the apps you can use. Let's click sales hub. And here you will see Dynamics 365 sales and you can start working with this. If you want to change this app, all you can do is you can click on the app selector and you can choose the right app that you want to work with. The other thing you must do is you need to click on settings and advanced settings. So here you can see the settings of Dynamics 365, which is a previous one. If you want to see the latest one, you need to go to Power Platform Admin Center, select that environment, click settings, and then you will see all the settings that you need to work on. Now you need to add users. So that also has changed by Microsoft. So if you click on users, it opens up this screen and here you can add users. So for example, you can just click add user and here you need to enter the email or name of the user that you already have in Azure Active Directory. So if I enter up here, it shows me here, but as I'm already existing in this, it will not allow me to add. I'll just show you that in a couple of minutes. So when the classic setting opens, you need to go to data management and then you need to install sample data because you might want to work with some data in Dynamics 365, right? So Sample data helps you get the basic data set and then you can start working with Dynamics 365 different areas. So click on sample data and then you can click install sample data. So let's give it a few seconds. It may take some time. And then once it says that it is installing in the background, then you can continue with your work. So now it is working in the background and we can continue using it. So now this will help you uh, get the data in the Dynamics 365 applications. Okay. So that's how you can install sample data. Now let's see how you can add users. So you need to go to office.com or you can go to portal.office.com and then you need to click admin. So you are in Microsoft 365 admin center now and there you need to add user. So you can just click add user and here you need to enter the basic details. So I'll just put username as Sharma and I'll create the password and we can just click next. And then we assign the Dynamics 365 customer engagement applications license. OK, then you click next and you don't need to change anything in case if you want to give this user any roles in Office 365 or Microsoft 365 admin center or provide admin access, then you can do that. Otherwise, you can just click next and you can just click finish adding. So it is done now and you can just close it. So we can head over back to users and permissions under Power Platform Admin Center, click users. And in here we can click add user and let's search for the user. So the newly created user is selected here, click add. So now it has been added to the environment, but the security role is not assigned. So you can go to Dynamics 365 to assign the security role or you can just click not now if you don't want to. So let's click go to Dynamics 365 and it opens the classic environment again for the user. And from there you can click manage roles and then you can give it one or more roles as per your requirements. So let's give it sales manager and click OK. So now this user will be able to access Dynamics 365 and start working with this. Another thing that you can do, let's refresh here and you can see that user is added here. Next, you can go to settings and uh, you have another setting under permissions, which is security roles. So this is also a new thing, which is Microsoft added. Now, previously, whatever you see in the classic client will always be available. Microsoft may choose to remove that later, but for now it's available. And then you can click on settings, user and permissions, security roles. And here you can see all the security roles available, right? So you can see the security roles from here as well. So you can go to security and then you can open security roles. And from here you can manage security roles. So what you can do is if you click any security role, say for example, sales manager, 
it shows you all the users that are part of this security role it means these user have sales manager security role okay you can remove them from here if you want and you can also select a user and click remove from that security role so it will be removed from the security role but the user will still exist okay you can go back to security roles in case if you want to modify any security role say for example let's talk about same sales manager here you can just click edit it opens up a new window which is again in the classic and then you can modify and make changes to the security role in case if you want to copy you can just click copy and give it a name sales magic copy click copy and a new role will be created and that can also be used and um, you can assign users to it and make changes as per your requirements right sales manager copy is available now another thing that you have is if you go to this environment you will see some more details so details then version updates any resources and access so in case if you want to update because we are not 2020 release wave 2 updates it is off right now if you want to see what's in this release you can just click there and it will open the the url these are very important documents that i would highly recommend you to go through because you will know what changes that are coming and you can keep yourself up to date in case if you want to update you can just click manage and uh, you can enable these features by clicking update now now please note this cannot be undone and performance may be impacted while you update it so it may take hours to update so make sure you do it when the users are not working and this is I'm just showing you for the trial environment sandbox environment but never do this in production environment without understanding what is there in the update and how it is going to impact the existing implementation right so if you want to if you are doing it for trial go ahead that's okay there will not be any impact because you will not have any live data okay so just to reiterate do it for sandbox and for testing environment or trial environment but don't do it for production environment before understanding the consequences right so that's how you can manage it and now in case if you are lost if you're not sure how you can access so first is you can go to admin.powerplatform.microsoft.com okay that's the place where you can access the environment by clicking open environment another thing you can do is you can go to home.dynamics.com okay or from the office.com you can click on dynamics 365 it opens home.dynamics.com now you may not see these things so all you need to do first time is you need to click sync so when you click sync it is going to populate all these apps and from there you can start working so for example customer service hub it will open the customer service hub in the unified interface right and you can see now the data is also populated the other thing that you need to do is the customizations you can do customizations from classic from advanced settings which is not recommended because microsoft has made a lot of changes and the new changes are applicable and can be seen new customization environment so make.powerapps.com uh, you, if you see this error make sure you allow cookies and then it will work fine so when you open make.powerapps.com for the first time you will see the environment as default on the right top but make sure you select the right environment of dynamics 365 that you have signed it to right and from there you can go to data you can see the customization options you can go to solutions and you can do the customizations as per your requirements so these are some of the changes in the sign up process users and security i'll keep adding more as we see from microsoft as we receive any updates from microsoft and uh, we'll keep updating this course all right so that's it for this video and i will see you in the next video tutorial